three trans genes have been used in this in the development of genetically modified mustard that is dmh11 okay so one gene some of the important topic that were in the news okay first topic is supreme court to examine if governors are subverting the federalism okay we will discuss it in the last okay then second one is puberty blockers okay that's that particular news okay was highlighted because uh, that famous okay entrepreneur Elon Musk, okay, said something about this. Okay, then we will discuss why Supreme Court. Yes. So our first topic of discussion is this. Okay, last week Supreme Court. Last week Supreme Court uh, gave okay division bench of Supreme Court gave split judgment. division bench of supreme court gave split judgment on split judgment on dmh 11 dhara dhara mustard hybrid 11 dhara mustard hybrid 11 okay anyone what was that dhara mustard hybrid what was dhara mustard hybrid anyone who is aware of that particular thing dhara mustard what is dhara mustard anyone do you know about this particular thing or not dhara mustard is it a hybrid crop is it a hybrid crop or it is a genetically modified crop hybrid or genetically modified genetically modified crop not hybrid crop it is genetically modified crop okay although the proponent of dmh are saying that it is a hybrid crop but we are also using okay trans gene in this particular system okay first first let me okay explain that what is uh, dhara mustard so uh, this is dhara mustard okay it is it is genetically modified mustard okay genetically modified crop okay that is dhara mustard hybrid dmh 11 has been in the center of controversy in india okay what is gm mustard it is genetically engineered variety of mustard that has been modified to enhance the certain traits such as resistance paste a resistance to paste improve yield and primary modification of dmh 11 includes herbicide tolerance and increase yield okay these two these two are the okay benefits now my first question is what do you understand from herbicide tolerance okay because we will discuss after this class okay there will be no doubt okay in dmh 11 i will clear all the doubts related to this my first question is what is herbicide tolerance because dmh 11 uh, uh, some of the research are saying that there will be increase of at least 27% yield okay which means higher productivity higher productivity in fact introduce uh, introduction of genetically modified crop okay in our food system in our food food system has only objective that is increase of yield that is higher productivity 
okay why because we are importing we are importing okay edible oil we are importing edible oil from foreign countries okay and import bill is of billions of dollars okay to save those billions of dollar okay on the import of edible oil we are pushing for dmh 11 okay and dmh 11 has two important property one is herbicide tolerance another one is increased yield okay so my question is what is herbicide tolerance anyone any idea because uh आपने बहुत बार ये चीज सुनी होगी न्यूज में भी रहती है हर्बिसाइड टॉलरेंस पेस्टिसाइड टॉलरेंस व्हाट इज हर्बिसाइड टॉलरेंस एनीवन अनवांटेड वीड अराउंड प्लांट्स अनवांटेड वीड अनवांटेड वीड्स अराउंड प्लांट्स सरवाइव हर्बिसाइड दैट किल वीड्स यस 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 शिवम पांडे वेरी गुड ओके हर्बिसाइड टॉलरेंस का मतलब यहां पे ये है दैट दिस इज द प्लांट ओके दिस इज द धावा मस्टर्ड प्लांट एंड दीज आर द वीड्स दीज आर द वीड्स ओके सो वेन एवर वी विल बी यूजिंग हर्बिसाइड herbicide that is nothing but the non selective herbicide what is non selective herbicide we will be using that non selective herbicide okay so that non selective herbicide herbicide will kill all the weeds all the weeds but our genetically modified crop that is dhara mustard will survive dhara mustard will survive okay dhava master will survive okay and all the weeds will be killed via this particular herbicide this is nothing but herbicide tolerance okay and for this okay for this particular uh, property or we can say to develop this particular property that is herbicide tolerance bar genes bar genes okay has been used bar genes has been used in the okay in dmh 11 in dmh 11 basically three trans genes three trans genes have been used in this in the development of genetically modified mustard that is dmh 11 okay so one gene that is bar gene has been used and that is making this particular crop herbicide tolerance herbicide tolerant okay the cultivation of herbicide tolerant variety that is htv of crop raises concern for plant biodiversity yes very good yes these are our concern first first understand that what is going on these are our concern inherent ability of a species to survive and reproduce after herbicide treatment at a normal use rate yes 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 okay sir explain in english i can't get in hindi so i am explaining all the things in hindi yaar. um all the things in english okay i am not explaining anything in hindi okay so bar genes have been used bar gene have been used to make this particular crop herbicide tolerant okay now what is the process what is the process of development of dmh 11 so first thing that we used this technology bar barnes and barster bar barnes barster technology bar barney's barster technology these are the three genes which derived from soil bacterium which derived from soil bacterium 
soil bacterium okay you have to write also soil bacterium and what is the name of that soil bacterium bacillus amylosi bacillus mi loli qui feci qui feci this is the okay soil bacteria from where we took three genes one is bar another one is barnes and another one is barster and we introduced that uh, these three genes into dmh okay why the word hybrid is used jabki uh, dmh is a genetically modified crop but we are using hybrid in it okay so <clears throat> we will understand okay this topic more how mm, these are the environmental concern that we will discuss okay so have you done with the writing have you done with the writing can i erase this okay we used three genes one is bar another one is barnes another one is barster okay and these three genes are derived from soil bacterium that is bacillus amylosi qui feci okay have you done with the writing or not yes okay so i'm erasing this now dmh dmh 11 dhava mustard hybrid now what is hybrid hybrid means we took two variety one is indian variety that is varuna this is the indian variety of mustard one is avli hira avli hira that is european variety avli hira that is european variety okay so hybrid variety of okay mustard has been prepared by using two varieties but the problem is mustard is mustard is a self pollinating plant self pollinating plant what is self pollinating plant suppose mustard is the self pollinating plant means this part is anther anther means male organ male organ of a flower and this is ovary this is ovary thoda sa biology hai yahan par okay thoda sa biology hai thoda sa dekhna padega this is this is this is anther no थोड़ा सा बायोलॉजी में दिक्कत आएगी आपको दिस इज ओवी पार्ट विच इज फीमेल पार्ट ओके एंड दिस वन इज मेल पार्ट मेल पार्ट विच मीन्स दिस इज द फ्लावर ऑफ मस्टर्ड प्लांट ओके एंड मेल पार्ट एंड फीमेल पार्ट बोथ आर प्रेजेंट इन द सेम फ्लावर this is self pollinating plant okay this is self pollinating plant now this is stigma stigma is nothing but female part and anther anther is the male part okay stigma along with ovary constitute female part 
एंथर इज द मेल पार्ट एंड फ्रॉम एंथर पोलन ग्रेन पोलन ग्रेन विल बी प्रोड्यूस्ड एंड दीज पोलन ग्रेन विल अटैच इन टू दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टिग्मा ओके एंड फ्रॉम दैट स्टिग्मा देर विल बी ओके सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर प्लांट ओके एंड दैट दैट जाइगोट विल रीच टू द ओवी एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर ओवी विल डेवलप इन टू द फ्रूट ओके दिस इज द मैकेनिज्म ओके इन दिस इज द मैकेनिज्म इन मस्टर्ड प्लांट सो नाउ लुक दिस इज सेल्फ पॉलिनेटिंग प्लांट नाउ देर इज द प्रॉब्लम दैट इन मस्टर्ड hybridization is very difficult hybridization is difficult why because it is a self pollinating plant and you cannot took varuna and avili hira and you cannot mix both these plant together why because in varuna both anther and stigma are present anther and stigma are present and they are pollinating themselves similarly in avili hira anther and stigma are present and they are pollinating themselves okay so hybridization is difficult okay so what to do now we are taking suppose stigma from here and we are taking anther from here anther means male part male part from avili hira and female part from varuna male part from avili hira female part from varuna okay now for this okay you have to make this male part of varuna sterile this male part of varuna sterile means okay aapko isko hatana padega you have to emasculate this particular male part emasculation is required after that okay that emasculation will ensure that fertilization is not taking place in varuna and after that you can okay enter this male part into this female part and after that fertilization will occur and that fertilization will nothing but the hybrid fertilization because varuna and avili hira okay female part from varuna avili part from uh, avili hiras male part okay this is the fertilization this is cross fertilization this is hybridization okay so how to make this particular part sterile how to make this particular part sterile so we are using another gene we are using another gene which is known as barnes barnes gene barnes gene now we are using barnes gene to make this particular part of male that is an that is male part sterile emasculate how this barnes gene will emasculate this first this barnes gene will enter into anther this barnes gene will enter into anther anther which produce pollen grain pollen grain so basically when barnes gene will enter into anther then it will stop the production of pollen grain it will stop the production of pollen grain in varuna and when when pollen grain will be stopped then the male part of varuna will become sterile that is emasculation okay are you with me are you with me or not it is somewhat tough okay because we are discussing biotechnology here everyone 
is it clear to you or not i can explain it again okay everyone is there any doubt then please let me know so that i can explain it again okay repeat it okay look first thing mustard mustard is a self pollinating plant okay mustard is nothing but a self pollinating plant self pollinating plant okay now the problem with mustard is both anther and stigma that is male and female part is present in the same flower are present in the same flower okay so hybridization of mustard becomes very difficult okay but we want to increase the yield of varuna because there are evidences that avli hira is having high yield okay so our scientist okay our scientist wanted that varuna crop of mustard should be hybridized with avli hira but that hybridization is not possible why because of the self pollinating nature of mustard flower okay now for hybridization it is necessary that anther of varuna that anther of varuna that is the male part should become sterile okay which means you have to emasculate this particular part okay for emasculation one gene from soil bacterium okay the one gene from soil bacterium that is barney's gene okay our scientist took barney's gene from soil bacterium and that barney's gene entered into anther okay anther is nothing but anther is nothing but the male part which is producing pollen grain so that barney's gene will stop the production of pollen grain in varuna okay now basically in varuna only female part that is stigma remains okay now from avli hira male part is coming from varuna female part is coming and it leads to hybridization it leads to fertilization and that fertilization is nothing but the hybridization of mustard that is why we used thara mustard hybrid okay 11 okay so that hybridization is going okay in this way now this is the male part this is female part this is fertilization and their offspring that is f1 will come that is f1 will come but the problem is in their f1 okay there are chances that these this particular barney's gene will will make will make anther will make this particular anther in their offspring infertile or sterile because the nature of barney's gene is to stop the production of pollen grain which means their offsprings will become their offsprings that is f1 will become kya yeah, will become sterile and there will be no further production okay so to stop this particular process one more gene that is barster was used barster was used that barster will stop barney's barney's activity barney's activity in offspring in offspring of hybridization offspring of hybridization okay so in their offspring the activity of barney's will cease to exist okay will cease by a barster gene barster will stop the activity of barney's means in f1 that is offspring anther and stigma will be 
ओके एक्टिंग इन देयर नेचुरल मैनर इन देयर नेचुरल मैनर देर विल बी नो स्टेबिलिटी Why? Because barster gene will stop the activity of Barney's. I hope it is clear to you. Okay. I tried my best to explain this particular concept. Not barster. Look, bar, Barney's and barster. These three genes, these three genes, okay, have been taken from. soil bacterium okay have been taken these are not uh, these are not protein okay these are gene okay so barnes is entering into anther making okay uh, production of pollen grain difficult which leads to sterility in the male part of varuna that is male part became Sterile. That is nothing but the emasculation. But if this process, it will lead to sterility or emasculation of their offspring as well. Which means that particular crop will be having no use. Okay. So we used barrister in early hera, barrister gene in early hera, and that barrister gene will inhibit. the activity of barnes in their offspring means anther part and stigma part that is male part and female part in the offsprings will function okay in a natural manner there will be no inhibition of okay no inhibition in the production of pollen grain in the anther part i hope it is clear to you okay in this manner these two genes are functioning okay barnes and barrister okay barnes and barrister in fact this particular process that entering of barnes gene and emasculation this is known as transgenic 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 infertility transgenic male sterility or infertility male sterility transgenic male sterility so basically barnes gene is creating this phenomena transgenic why why transgene because this barnes gene okay belongs to soil bacterium not okay not belongs to mustard that is why it is transgenic male sterility okay this question can be asked in prelims as well okay sir the f1 will have anther of e ab to ye look 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 vandana now hybridization ho chuka hai okay and we don't know that uh, from which part s is coming and from which part a is coming okay it will be having f1 will be having its own set of anther and stigma okay we cannot differentiate this particular thing but that is for sure that anther is coming from early hera okay anther is coming from early hera but the problem is this is self pollinating plant okay so genes uh, gene or ye isme aap confuse mat hoiye point ye hai mera bolne ka okay anther and stigma are uh, reproductive organs of any flower and genes are something different like barnes gene like uh, barster gene okay so don't be confused okay i think it is clear to you is there any doubt anyone okay any doubt such terminologies like transgenic male fertility okay barnes gene barster gene these can be asked okay why hybridization because we are taking two variety varuna and avli hera why transgene why genetically modified because we are using three genes one is barnes one is barster okay 
वन इज बार्नीस वन इज बास्टर नो डाउट ओके सो द लास्ट पॉइंट लास्ट लास्ट इंट्रोडक्शन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर क्रॉप इज बार जी नाउ वरुणा अर्जी हीरा हियर वी इंट्रोड्यूस बार्नीस हियर वी इंट्रोड्यूस बार बार्स्टर एंड इट लीड्स टू हाइब्रिडाइजेशन दैट इज एफ वन एंड हियर वी इंट्रोड्यूस बार बार जी ओके एंड बार जीन इज मेकिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर क्रॉप हर्बी साइड टॉलरेंट हर्बी साइड टॉलरेंट ओके वाई वाई हर्बी साइड टॉलरेंट बिकॉज हर्बी साइड टॉलरेंट मीन्स वेन एवर यू विल बी अप्लाइंग वेन एवर यू विल बी अप्लाइंग नॉन सेलेक्टिव नॉन सेलेक्टिव herbicide साइड ओके टू क्लियर वीड्स टू क्लियर वीड्स अराउंड प्लांट वीड्स अराउंड प्लांट यूजली मोस्ट ऑफ द पेस्टिसाइड आर नॉन सेलेक्टिव ओके सो वेन एवर यू विल बी यूजिंग और अप्लाइंग और स्प्रेइंग दैट नॉन सेलेक्टिव हर्बिसाइड ऑन दिस एफ वन देन ओके ऑल द वीड्स All the weeds will be cleared. Okay, all the weeds will be cleared. Only this one part will remain. Only this one part will remain. That is D M H eleven. And after that, all the weeds are cleared, which means no competition, no competition for air, for water. for nutrient and when there will be no competition then there will be higher yield then there will be higher yield you got the point then there will be higher yield sir what does applying herbicide non selective means non selective herbicide means okay look kabhi khet mein gaye ho whenever you will visit your farm then there will be weed okay and weed means not not only one one type of weed there will be many types of weed okay who will be surrounding your crop this is your crop and many types of weed like first one is this second one is this third one is this fourth one is this fifth one is this and sixth one is this so many variety of weeds will be there okay whenever you uh, and it is your compulsion that you have to clear all your weeds so you will be okay applying non selective weeds means non selective herbicides means you have to kill all of them that is why you are applying non selective there there will be no selection that this particular herbicide will be killing only this particular weed no it will kill all the weeds which means it is non selective herbicide but it can kill your plant as well because it is killing all the plants there but you already introduced bar gene into your okay hybridized seed and that bar gene made this particular crop herbicide tolerant okay so whenever you will be applying non selective herbicide on on the field then only that crop will survive other weeds will be died i hope it is clear now okay the same concept the same concept is applied on bt cotton as well bt cotton as well same same concept hai okay but uh, the benefit or we can say the positive aspect of bt cotton is this that uh, hybridization is not very much difficult in bt cotton because bt cotton is not uh, bt cotton is not a self pollinating plant okay so when bt cotton is not self pollinating plant so then this particular 
ओके फिनोमेना बार्नीज एंड बास्टर ओके इज नॉट नेसेसरी फॉर बीटी कॉटन ओके many type of weed most of the time cover grain plant sometimes cause weeds leads to ungrowth of plant yes 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 okay i have seen it in my own field yes that is why okay we are using non selective herbicide is it clear is it clear yes okay i am happy that all of your concepts are clear okay so what are the problems then with this particular crop okay why it is hybrid it is clear why it is it is transgenic or genetically modified it is also clear why because we are using three transgene barnes baster and bar genes why it is hybridized because varuna and arli hira these two crops are hybrid hybridized okay so yield increased we have discussed that why yield increased because no competition after after the application of non selective herbicide and second thing is it is herbicide tolerant okay now after this what are the problems with this particular crop because we have discussed all the things now you tell me long term effect unknown to health and environment okay non uh, long term effect why why long term effect because uh, till now we are using varuna and varuna or mustard oil received from varuna okay so our body is adapted to this particular oil okay but now you used trans g okay these are nothing but the the genes you received from soil bacterium now how these trans genes will affect human body it is not known okay so they may have adverse effect on our health yes or no and these trans genes will be entering into our food chain as well that is why there are concern that look first bt cotton is allowed why because bt cotton is not a food crop okay so adverse effect on human health is not a cause of concern for bt cotton okay but for dhara mustard there is a concern that these genes like barner uh, barnes baster and bar will be having adverse effect on human health okay next aur kya kya ho sakta hai no known who to blame because it may occur after years yes there is a possibility then uh, that these genes will be having effect after 10 to 15 years after the introduction into the food chain and after that there will be no coming back yes or no this is another aspect apart from that what other aspect what are the other thing which are disturbing in nature or we can say which became cause of concern what are other things sir any effect on productivity of the soil yes that is why uh, we are having field trials okay after so many field trials in fact this particular crops uh, this particular crop or hybrid crop was developed around 10 years ago okay but after that okay uh, in fact it is yet to receive okay full fledged assent of judiciary or we can say genetic engineering appraisal committee okay small scale farmers yes okay so it's adverse effect on soil it's adverse effect on human health it's adverse effect on in fact biodiversity of the region because how it will affect the honey bees of that particular area so it can threat biodiversity as well sir but this type of seeds may lead to unpocket friendly yes 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 okay 
those companies who are producing these particular seeds can increase the price okay so these are the concerns let us discuss uh, some of the concerns which are related to environment that is critic argue that gm crops could lead to ecological imbalance these are the fear about potential cross breeding with the wild mustard plant which could impact the biodiversity okay why because what if that bar barneys and barster gene will gene will starts cross breeding with the natural mustard plant and threaten its okay its very existence then it will lead to the loss of biodiversity loss of biodiversity in fact it can also impact the insects of that particular area insects honey bees okay it can impact or it can have adverse adverse effect on insects and honey bee which leads to loss of biodiversity okay another concern is health concern that some experts are concerned about the long term health effect of consuming gm foods okay wo well, long term okay that we discussed that what if okay we are not uh, we started consuming gm crops and right now they are not having any adverse effect but what if that adverse effect will be okay coming into forefront after 10 to 15 years okay then there there will be no coming back although extensive studies have not conclusively proven any harmful effect then the third point is economic and social issue that is there is a debate about the economic implication for farmers including the cost of the seeds because that company okay that biotechnology company or any of that giant is producing seeds okay can increase the price of the seeds and what about small farmers additionally there are concern about the control of seed patent patents and impact on traditional farming practices another thing is regulatory and ethical issues such as approval process for gm crop has been criticized for lacking transparency some argue that the regulatory framework is not robust enough to ensure safety and efficiency these are very generic point uh, okay no need to okay just mug up all these point public sentiment that is there is a significant public opposition of gm crop in india influenced by broader anti gmo sentiments anti gmo sentiments okay that is the corporate control over agriculture corporate can control over agriculture and the last one is ethical consideration such as self terminating gene self terminating seed exclusive patent regime okay implication on equitable access what is self terminating gene anyone this is an another concept that is nothing but the that was also in the news and upsc asked this question that is what is terminator gene or terminator seeds supreme court said that terminator seeds are not allowed in india not allowed in india what is this designed to restrict the access to genetic materials and their associated phenotypic traits abhi bap re ye kahan se le aaye aap okay uh, not can be used against they need to buy again yes 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 okay that we discussed this is nothing but the terminator suppose uh we are not entering that bastard gene that bastard gene into this hybridization we are not entering that okay which means that f1 that offsprings that offspring is okay sterile in nature that offspring is sterile in nature 
just because we entered barster into that system this offspring is productive in nature but what if okay biotech giants started making this particular offspring as a okay sterile in nature which means okay farmer can uh, can have only one crop okay and after that they have to purchase they have to purchase seeds again they have to purchase seeds again from from those biotech giants okay they can not use the same crop for next crop cycle for next crop cycle this is nothing but the terminator gene concept okay genetically engineered to be sterile sterile after first harvest yes brazil and india okay also have national bans on terminal uh, terminator technology yes very good okay you got the idea bas yahi concept hai usme terminator gene mein that uh, you cannot have offspring okay fertile so significance kya hai that mustard continue mustard contribution in oil production and import despite producing 116.5 lakh tons of edible oil in 2021-22 india imported 141.93 lakh ton highlighted a significant gap in the projected demand of 34 million ton by 2025 and mustard plays a pivotal role that is 40% of the total edible oil production okay so 27% increase in the yield or increase in the productivity will help to gap okay to bridge this particular gap which is present in demand and in supply that is potential yield enhancement of gm mustard okay that is okay 28% approximately and improve the input efficiency why because of less water less fertilizer less pesticide we have discussed that you are okay eliminating all type of weeds uh, via application of non selective herbicide non selective herbicide so there will be okay improved input efficiency and reduced price volatility as well okay no need to discuss such points okay is it clear so this completes our first topic that is dhava mustard 11 okay i will provide all uh, this particular ppt to you okay aap pad lena isko concept clear hua ke nahi hua is it okay or not concepts regarding this particular topic is clear yes now that was the second news okay second important news that is divorced muslim women can seek maintenance under section 125 of crpc okay supreme court justice bv nagaratna and justice augustin george masi they said that divorced muslim women can seek maintenance okay why they said or why they pronounced this particular judgment okay are muslim women not allowed to seek uh, to seek uh, maintenance yes or no are muslim women not allowed to seek maintenance from her husband in india why there is such discrepancy is there any issue or they are pronouncing this particular judgment वैसे ही okay for fun not allowed due to personal laws okay what is personal laws then what is personal law under muslim personal law it is not allowed okay okay so now come to personal laws what is personal law okay sharia law i i got your point i am asking that what is personal law then what is personal law laws affecting your personal rights according to religious look 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 there are two types of laws first one is civil laws 
another one is criminal laws civil laws and criminal laws okay civil laws and criminal laws in india there are uniform criminal laws uniform criminal laws okay for murder or for decoity you all will be having same punishment irrespective of your religion irrespective of your religion so we have uniform criminal laws okay in fact from the in fact britishers introduced the uniform criminal law in india okay during their colonial rule during their colonial rule but they said that civil laws okay this uniformity is not there non uniformity why because muslim for muslims there is a sharia law for christians there is a christian marriage act for parsis there were parsis marriage act although after independence after independence there was an attempt there was an attempt to bring uniform civil court for hindus uniform civil court for hindus via hindu code bill 1955 okay hindu code bill 1955 so at least for hindus not only hindus the word hindu includes sikh jain buddhist as well buddhist as well okay so for these communities uniform civil code is there but for muslims for christians for parsis and for other minority communities okay there is no personal law personal law means laws related to marriage laws related to divorce laws related to the matter of inheritance matter related to inheritance matter related to adoption okay matter related to property division of like ancestral property okay so these are matter which is related to civil law and civil law in india are governed by personal laws personal laws especially for these communities okay this is personal law laws that govern personal matters such as marriage divorce maintenance inheritance adoption based on the religion of the individual involved law that applies to a certain class or group of people or a particular person based on the religious faith and culture very good okay why so why there is not uh, uniformity in matter in the matter of personal law why our constitutional maker our forefathers left this particular thing okay on our wisdom or on the wisdom of the politician of this country or on the wisdom of the people of this country to evolve a uniform civil code why why they did not address this particular issue because every religion has its own religious practices so what is the issue with those religious practices because of the wish of that group which group actually the problem is the problem is most of the personal laws in india most of the personal laws okay are having religious sanctions are having religious sanctions okay like marriages so for every community marriages are having religious sanctions divorce are having 
okay religious recognition of sanctions okay so basically personal laws are directly linked with directly uh, linked with your religion okay so any any type of tampering with personal law any type of tampering or any type of modification or any type of we can say transformation transformation in personal law will amounts to the interference will amounts to the interference in the matter of religion interference in the matter of religion in the matter of religion and india is a secular country and as a secular country you cannot interfere into the matter of religion okay you can interfere but okay that interference should be gradual in nature that interference should be reasonable in nature that is why okay our constitutional forefathers okay left this matter in article 44 that a state will strive or a state shall strive shall strive to secure shall strive to secure a uniform civil code for for the population or for the citizen of this country for the citizen of the country a uniform civil code okay so they okay mentioned in article 44 that it is the duty of the state to secure a uniform civil code for all the citizen of this country okay it is not a fundamental right to have uniform civil code okay it is the duty of the state to secure or evolve a uniform civil code for all the people of this country okay second constitutional provision regarding this is personal laws this is the subject which is under concurrent list which is under concurrent list concurrent list means state can make okay and center can also make law with respect to uniform civil code for example recently uttarakhand government recently uttarakhand government have their ucc yes or no uttarakhand government have their ucc okay because it is mentioned in the concurrent list okay another constitutional provision which is against the ucc is article 26 clause 2 26 clause 2 is saying that right to manage right to manage the affairs related to the religion and who will manage those religious groups those religious groups or we can say religious institution religious institutions or religious group can manage religious affairs example muslim personal law board Muslim Personal Law Board is managing the religious affairs related to Sharia law in Islam, or for Muslims in India. So these are the three constitutional provision regarding uniform civil code in India. First one is it is the duty of the state to secure uniform civil code for okay all the people. Personal laws. This is the subject which is mentioned in schedule. okay seven concurrent list okay so state can make their own laws example uttarakhand recently okay recently has its own uniform civil code and the third one is freedom to manage 
their own religious affairs it is the right of the religious institution it is their fundamental right now sir so goa have ucc much before uttarakhand yes in which year goa imposes ucc i guess goa goa has ucc in 1867 that is portuguese uniform civil code of goa or कुछ ऐसा नाम है उसका पोर्चुगीज पर्सनल लॉ या ऐसा करके कुछ नाम है विच वॉज इंप्लीमेंटेड इन 1867 इन गोवा ओके वक्फ बोर्ड यस 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 दे कैन मैनेज देर ओन रिलीजियस अफेयर अकॉर्डिंग टू आर्टिकल 26 सिक्स क्लोज टू इज इट क्लियर दीज आर द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल प्रोविजन रिगार्डिंग यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोर्ट ओके नाउ इज इट नेसेसरी or not is it necessary to have uniform civil code everyone just participate in this discussion and you will retain this particular discussion for okay you have entire preparation is it necessary okay why why it is necessary okay now my question is why it is necessary to have a uniform civil code just give me some points regarding this why to protect any kind of humanitarian rights humanitarian it is not related to that particular thing because exploitation against minority class women very good okay give some example uh alexander wats okay give one example that how minority class women okay are being exploited just because of having some personal laws related to marriage and divorce example triple talaq ensure equal protection under law very good yes second point is it will ensure equality equal protection of law and just because of the personal laws minority women are getting exploited okay via such practices such as triple talaq nikah halala etc to override practices that violate rights in religious practices okay we can say no because there is a unity in diversity and not in uniformity we will discuss that right now we are discussing some of the argument okay which support the ucc first give those argument after that we will discuss that also there is no issue no maintenance for muslim divorced women yes 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 not only exploitation in only minority but also in majority as well yes we can say in majority as well national integration it will lead to national integration in fact because of so many personal laws because of so many personal laws okay it is very hard for the judges okay to understand all the laws and pronounce their judgment so it is also leading to judicial pendency yes or no the huge pendency in the courts okay is because of the personal laws as well judgment of supreme court is affected due to personal laws national integration a uniform set of law would make the legal system more accessible yes more access more accessible more understandable to ordinary citizen reducing confusion and legal dispute very good okay every law has some good elements and bad elements yes yes we will discuss that also okay so these are certain points okay that in fact we can say that uh, uniform civil code uh, will not only lead to national integration but it will also ensure that uh, liberal that that liberal credential of india that liberal credential of india because article 44 like dpsps are of three types dpsps are of three types one gandhian socialistic and liberal so article 4, 44 is nothing but the liberal principle so it will ensure india's liberal 
Okay, principal. In fact, we can say that it will ensure the secular credential for India as well. Okay, secular credential. Liberal credential means uniform civil code. Okay, is considered as a uh, because most of the liberal countries like US, UK, other Western countries or Western European countries has uniform civil code for their citizen. Okay, there is no differentiation on the basis of race, religion, caste, sex, etc. And this particular thing is nothing but the liberal principle. That is why bringing UCC will enhance the liberal credential of India. In fact, it will enhance secular credential as well. A step towards modernizing. Yes, very good. A step towards modernizing, reforming outdated social practices, ensuring progressive and just legal provision for all. Very good. Okay, these are the points. Like some of the points I have given here, like equality before law, that is Article 40. Equality before law and equal protection of law. It will ensure this. Okay, because all citizens are treated equally in the matter of personal law, thus eliminating religious disparities and promoting fairness. Okay, we will discuss that how equality in the matter of personal laws are important okay there is one case that is Savala Mudgal case we will discuss that in Savala Mudgal case one Hindu man converted into Islam okay why because he wanted he wanted to get married second second time okay and Hindu personal law Hindu personal laws are not allowing that second marriage so he converted into Islam and he is saying that I will, okay, I want to get married second time. Okay, so we will dis discuss that. Why? Because there is a discrepancy in the, okay, personal laws. So we want it, uh, we want to ensure there should be equality before law. Then it will lead to national integration that we discussed. Because it will create a sense of unity and national integration. Simplification of legal processes. Okay. Why? Because it will be very hard for the judges to understand all the personal laws and pronounce the judgment. Okay. So it will simplify the legal process and it will lead to gender justice. Okay. We have, uh, we already discussed that practices like Nikah Halala. Nikah Halala and Triple Talaq and Triple Talaq are discriminatory towards the Muslim woman. What is Nikah Halala? Anyone? You might have discussed this particular topic in your society section. What is Nikah Halala? So if Hindu law not allow such type of marriage that is polygamy then how so many people married sec second time yes okay many people got married second time and which is illegal in nature but the problem is okay all of their wives are not complaining about their husband they are uh, readily uh, they are happily accepting the second marriage of their husband Okay, so court cannot do anything about this particular thing. Okay, whenever woman, that woman or whenever the first wife of that particular person will reach to the court and then court will punish that particular man. Okay, nikah means marriage and halala means to make something halal. Okay, permissible. I have mean, asked this full form. Thodi pucha hai, yaar. Halala is you cannot marry anyone. No, 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 no. Isko padna, jag. Okay, you should read this particular thing that how much okay, okay, exploitation is going on of Muslim woman, Nika Halala. Just read this particular thing. It is draconian in nature. Okay. So next thing is what are the challenges? Now write down more more points. Write down more points positives or why we need why we need uniform civil code write down more points 
After that, we will discuss uh, some of the judgment of the Supreme Court as well. Write down why we need. We have already discussed that simplification of legal system, promotion of equality. Next point, it will enhance. It will enhance India's liberal and secular credential. It will enhance India's liberal and secular credentials. Liberal and secular credentials. India's liberal and secular credentials. Gender equality, gender justice ki to baat hoi gai hai. It will promote national integration. Next. Next point. It will promote modernization. Aap hi ne bataya tha ye. It will promote modernization. It will promote modernization. Modernization, which is essential for modern democratic society, which is essential for modern democratic society. Modern democratic society. Okay. Next. It will elevate the situation of minority class woman or woman from minority section. It will elevate the condition of woman, especially the minority, especially the woman of minority community. And it will lead to woman empowerment as well. It will lead to woman empowerment is as well. Lead to woman empowerment as well. Okay. Next, modernization wala ho gaya. Modernization, you can also write uh, in modernization your progressive progressive law as well. Okay, apart from that, aap inne kuch kuch bola tha, usi mein mein dhoond raha hoon, kuch mil jaye to. Achha point. Okay, thik hai. Jitna discussion tha ho chuka is pe. Okay, enough with this. Now, what are the points okay or what are the challenges that we will face in the implementation of uniform civil code everyone bataiye jaldi backlash from religious groups yes especially from the minority community backlash from the minority community especially uh, minority community plus tribal communities as well okay in fact uh, recently when law commission asked for the opinion of everyone on this particular matter then protest was started in jharkhand okay and in north eastern state against this why because tribal marriage practices are different than the marriage practices of mainstream society so they also started protect uh, protest backlash okay politicization of ucc yes this is another aspect that okay you the entire issue related to ucc has been politicized okay so this is another issue so any attempt any attempt to bring ucc okay will be considered as uh, will be considered as the political attempt Political attempt to impose majoritarian practices over minority. We can say this. Okay. So because of politicization, many issues has been arised. Okay. People's adherence and sensitivity towards their religion will forbid its implementation. Very good. Yes, sir. Yes. Though uh, tough to reach a common ground. Yes, tough to reach a common consensus, we can say. Especially in the matter of personal laws. Okay, very good. Yes. Practical challenges of drafting and implementing UCC that respect all communities, sensitivities and religious rights. Yes. Religious freedom will decrease. Not religious freedom will decrease. Okay. 
यस बट मेनी पीपल आर सेइंग दैट दैट इंडियन सेक्युलरिज्म इज नथिंग बट द डाइवर्सिटी इन यूनिटी नॉट यूनिफॉर्मिटी ओके सो इट विल ओके इंपैक्ट द सेक्युलर सेक्युलरिज्म ऑफ इंडिया वी कैन से while implementing ucc an unconscious psychological divide between minority and majority tradition very good okay the ucc should be unbiased completely in order to create a progressive society yes we have to ensure this particular thing that that ucc okay should not be dominated by the majority community majority traditions and okay it should be unbiased it should be impartial okay for the progressive society yes so this type of matter prevalent in all groups even in majority not only in minority we can see around us many majority group people persecute their women i mean yes yes we will discuss that okay in fact we are dis- i'm not saying that minority women are the only women who are getting persecuted in fact if you see the data then polygamy is more prevalent in majority section of of the society not only in minority i'm not saying okay i'm not accusing any community okay that they are persecuting their women more okay but the issues such as nikah halala triple talaq are highlighted more that is why we are discussing such issues okay sensitive and tough task to implement yes gradual reform approach yes we will discuss that gradual reform approach or piecemeal approach in our way forward okay so first discuss okay first thing is religious sensitivity that is india is a diverse country with a rich tapestry of religious tradition implementing ucc can be seen as an imposition of religious freedom we can say that imposition of majority tradition like there is a fear among minority community there is a fear among minority community that in the name of ucc okay majority tradition or majority cultural practices will be imposed cultural practices will be imposed okay on minority okay second thing is political opposition that ucc is a contentious issue in indian politics different political parties have waving stances with some opposing its due fear of alienating their voter bases and inciting communal unrest we have discussed this that politicization of this particular issue politicization of the issue of ucc is a big cause of concern of the issue of ucc okay so because of politicization okay everyone is uh, appeasing their vote bank like some of the party are pushing for ucc okay because their vote bank okay is demanding ucc and some of the parties are opposing this particular thing why because their vote bank are saying that you should not implement ucc diverse opinion within the community like even within religious communities there are differing opinion on personal law one size fit to all approach is not good for india okay might not address the diverse needs and implementation implementation challenges like practical aspect of the implementing ucc such as integrating it into the existing legal framework and ensuring compliance pose significant challenges okay so I write down certain more points that you have discussed aapke bhi points acche hain designing ucc law itself will be a very challenging yes 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 the same point okay designing a ucc law which is acceptable to the all community along with its integration into the existing legal framework is very difficult or challenging okay ucc will be a gradual process of acceptance after its implementation yes okay write down certain points that you have given that you have given first point first point resistance from minority communities as well as from other communities such as tribal other communities such as tribal community okay because their personal laws are very much different their personal laws are very much different from the mainstream society 
okay so first resistance will come from minority as well as from tribal groups okay next politicization yes mein diya hua hai people's adherence and sensitivity towards their religion okay ye bhi humne dekh dekh liya hai yes next point tough to reach a common ground regarding personal law next point is this that it will be very challenging to reach on the common ground okay it will be challenging to reach on the common ground challenging to reach on the common ground okay common ground regarding personal laws regarding personal laws that we did, uh, we have already discussed that uh, there is a fear among minority community that the majority community will impose their tradition their culture their practices on okay minority in the name of ucc and this particular fear should be addressed properly okay then after okay we can have our ucc okay next point religious freedom will decrease it will which is against secularism you can write this point in this this manner write down write down uh, implementation of ucc which will come into conflict with article 26 clause 2 implementation of ucc will come in conflict with article article 26 clause 2 that is religious freedom to manage their own affair religious freedom to manage their own affair okay religious freedom to manage their own affair okay next point religious freedom to manage their own affair next point that point is given by yuval dengra good point that imposition of ucc may create an unconscious psychological divide between majority and minority community yes good point that imposition or implementation of ucc okay may create an unconscious psychological divide between majority and minority community or tradition okay imposition of ucc will come into conflict with okay article 26 clause 2 that is freedom to manage religious affairs freedom to manage religious affairs okay freedom to manage religious affairs that is religious freedom along with this point of view that that is implementation of ucc may create unconscious psychological divide between majority community and minority community okay next point next point india's model of multiculturalism india's mo model of multiculturalism india's mo model of multiculturalism model of multiculturalism will be threatened india's model of multiculturalism will be threatened okay there are three models of multiculturalism three model one is melting pot model another one is mosaic model and another one is salad bowl model this model is practiced in united states of america this model of india and this model of united kingdom okay 
melting pot model of multiculturalism means many cultural groups are present in society are present in society but okay they should shed their identity they should shed their cultural identity and they should have one identity that is american identity that is american identity this is the model of multiculturalism which is practiced in usa that you should shed your all type of identity that you is that okay you are having and you should adopt american identity american way of life american way of thinking american way of dealing with anything okay second is salad bowl model that is of united kingdom which means salad bowl means okay jahan par okay there is a mango there is there are grapes okay bananas etc okay so many culture can exist many culture can coexist but okay they can not okay they can not interact with each other freely interact with each other freely just like mango is not interacting with grapes and grapes are not interacting with banana okay but indian multicultural model that is mosaic model mosaic means this is the glass and if you break this glass then such type of okay that glass will be broken in this manner yes in this manner this is nothing but the mosaic okay so when all the cultures okay such as uh, suppose this is tribal culture okay this is hindu culture this is muslim culture this is sikh culture jain culture buddhist culture parsi culture okay etc and they all are interacting with each other they all are interacting with each other plus they can have their own identity they can have their own identity there is no need to shed their own identity which means indian mosaic model of multiculturalism okay promotes diversity coexistence okay diversity in unity coexistence peaceful interaction peaceful interaction hence okay in the name of ucc you cannot promote uniformity okay because uniformity will okay abolish this particular mosaic model it will turn indian model of multiculturalism into this model that is melting pot model okay you got the idea okay you got the idea why okay this is the opposition this is the sociological okay argument against bringing uniform civil code is it clear these three models are clear to you or not melting pot model mosaic model and salad bowl model is it clear yes yes okay 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 so you can not bring ucc okay that will create uniformity and which is against the multiculturalistic model 
ओके ऑफ इंडिया दैट इज मोजेक मॉडल दैट इज मोजेक मॉडल ओके नेक्स्ट दैट इज यूसी विल थ्रेट कल्चरल डाइवर्सिटी एज वेल यूसी विल थ्रेट कल्चरल डाइवर्सिटी एज वेल कल्चरल डाइवर्सिटी एज वेल एंड द लास्ट पॉइंट इज फियर ऑफ मेजोरिटेरियनिज्म फियर ऑफ मेजोरिटेरियनिज्म फियर ऑफ मेजोरिटेरियनिज्म fear of majoritarianism as well okay now these are the cases related to uniform civil court okay what supreme court has said but before that let's write some points that what our forefathers our constitutional forefathers discussed in our constituent assembly when they were okay adding this article 44 in dpsp okay write down opinion of constituent assembly opinion of constituent assembly opinion of constituent assembly write down dr bhimrao ambedkar dr bhimrao ambedkar and k m munshi dr bhim rao ambedkar and k m munshi dr ambedkar and k m munshi k m munshi okay supported k m munshi supported uniform civil code uniform civil code because because according to them according to them ucc will ensure ucc will ensure ucc will ensure gender justice women empowerment secularism and equality secularism and equality they both argued that it will lead to gender justice women empowerment secularism and equality according to dr bhimrao ambedkar and k m munshi they both supported this particular thing okay but other two members write down the name of other two members but other two members one is uh nazibuddin ahmed one was nazibuddin ahmed nazibuddin ahmed and another one is mohammad ismail khan mohammad ismail khan opposed mohammad ismail khan opposed the imposition of Muhammad Ismail Khan im opposed the imposition of imposition of uniform civil code imposition of uniform civil code according to them according to them ucc will undermine ucc will undermine secularism UCC will undermine secularism religious autonomy religious autonomy and will amounts to unnecessary interference unnecessary interference in the matter of personal laws and will amounts to unnecessary interference in the matter of personal laws which will create social unrest which will create social unrest in india 
which will create social unrest in India. These two members, okay, Nazaruddin Ahmed and Muhammad Ismail Khan, these two opposed the implementation of Uniform Civil Court. Okay, these two opposed the implementation of Uniform Civil Court. Okay, done with this, everyone. Yes, okay. Now, there are certain cases related to, okay, <coughs> Uniform Civil Court. So, first one, uh, the first case was Shah Habano case, to usme diya hi nahi hai. Okay, write down. First, Shah Bano case. Shah Bano case. What was that case? Shah Bano case 1985. In fact, uh, you can see, okay, what happened just after this case. Okay, this is not the point of discussion, but let me tell you what happened. Okay, just after the Shah Bano case. That was mentioned in one famous book that is 10 judgments that changed India. 10 judgments that changed India. That changed India. That book was written by Zia, Zia Modi. Okay. Shah Bano case 1985. Okay. That case was about Muslim can, Muslim woman can Muslim woman seek maintenance, Muslim woman seek maintenance under section 125, section 125 of CRPC. This was the case. Shah Bano, okay, Shah Bano was divorced from her husband, okay, who was a renowned lawyer who was a renowned lawyer, okay, but he was not ready to provide maintenance to Shah Bano, okay, now that case reached to the Supreme Court, okay, when the case reached to the Supreme Court, Supreme Court said that, okay, Muslim woman, Muslim woman can seek, Supreme Court basically agreed with this particular question. Supreme Court said that Muslim woman can seek maintenance from her husband under section 125 of CRPC. Okay. But the supporter of that lawyer claimed that that CRPC is not applicable on Muslim woman. Why? Because the marriage and the divorce and maintenance and inheritance and other such practices are governed by, okay, personal laws, are governed by personal laws among Muslims, okay. So, Muslim woman cannot seek, but Shah Bano ke Supreme Court said that Muslim woman can seek the maintenance even after the period of Iddat, even after the period of after the period of Iddat. Okay. Look, there is one more thing. The argument regarding, okay, in Muslim personal law. Whenever there is a marriage in Muslim community, okay, so male and female, okay, so <coughs> That marriage is known as nikah. Okay. When they are getting separated. When they are getting separated. So one amount. Okay. One particular amount was fixed. One particular amount was fixed during the time of marriage. During the time of marriage. And now... According to Muslim personal law, that man is liable to give only that amount, okay, during the period of Iddat, during the period of Iddat, okay, 
after divorce after getting divorce okay there is around 2 to 3 months 2 to 3 months which is considered as iddat okay so in this period okay that man is liable to give only that amount to that female okay but now muslim women are seeking that we should provide okay maintenance for lifetime maintenance for lifetime and supreme court agreed with them and supreme court in shahbano ke said that yes muslim woman can receive okay maintenance for her lifetime okay muslim woman can seek maintenance for her lifetime yes you got the idea what is what was shahbano case okay along with this supreme court also said that write down along with this supreme court also said that ucc would help in first thing supreme court said that muslim woman can seek maintenance from her husband for a lifetime and second thing is second thing is ucc would help in removing contradiction ucc would help in removing contradiction based on based on religious ideologies based on religious ideology based on religious ideology okay supreme court is saying that you should bring uniform civil code okay that will bring uniformity and remove all the contradiction interestingly okay this is not the point of discussion but interestingly in 1986 in 1986 rajiv gandhi government overturned that decision by bringing muslim woman muslim woman protection from protection from divorce act protection from divorce act 1986 and they overturned that decision of that overturned the decision of supreme court so basically this particular act was nothing but misnomer why because the judgment of supreme court okay providing protection of muslim woman and now they are overturning that position and saying that protection of muslim woman and after that okay in our country communalization has started okay communalization was there okay but communalization in politics was started after this okay communalization started then mandal commission report was came out then rath yatra and all and after that the entire political scenario of this country was changed you can read that book 10 judgments that changed india okay you will be having fair idea that what was happened after that okay so that was shah bano case another one is sarla mudgal case okay supreme court highlighted again the need of uniform civil code and criticized the practice of polygamy among muslims suggesting that such practices should be reevaluated in the light of constitutional principle and equality what was that sarla mudgal case i have discussed that one hindu man okay who is already married who is already married now he converted into islam he converted into islam and now he is saying that i am enjoying okay the right of polygamy i can remarry again okay so supreme court said that okay just by this conversion just by this conversion first you can not you can not uh, use instant triple talaq okay to divorce your first woman because that marriage was solemnized by hindu marriage act and second thing just because you converted into islam you can not remarry again 
okay so in this particular complicated matter supreme court again we asserted the need of uniform civil code yes subsequent case daniel latifi case okay okay yes 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 rajiv gandhi government brought that uh, muslim women protection from divorce act and they overturned that decision of supreme court okay so when some of the party accused rajiv gandhi and congress okay of minority appeasement and they started majority appeasement so it became minority versus majority and those who were in the power at that time okay thought that now okay it became it became all communal so they brought mandal commission report okay and when they brought mandal commission report the communal politics got intensified after that okay and which changed okay indian political scenario indian political society for always okay is it clear sarla mudgal case any doubt any doubt till now everything is clear i hope it it, it is clear what should be repeated anonymous what should be repeated at which point you okay you are not able to understand these things are very simple in nature i am just explaining the chronology and some of the background of it batao what are the issue so network was not stable and i am not able to hear so I request you so from look first you will be getting uh, a recording okay you will be getting a recording just okay go with this particular section because i i have to discuss okay all the issue in sarla mudgal case basically one hindu man converted into islam this is the third time that i am explaining this that hindu man is converting into islam and he is saying that now okay i will remarry again okay so supreme court criticized okay the polygamy among muslim suggesting that the practice should be reevaluated re in the light of okay then in 2017 shaiva bano case supreme court declared that instant triple talaq is unconstitutional okay so earlier polygamy was criticized now instant triple talaq was unconstitutional and emphasizing the need to reform the personal law suggesting that ucc could address such issue comprehensively again supreme court we asserted that ucc should be brought okay so in shahbano case in sarla mudgal case in ucc uh, in Sh uh, shaiva bano case all the time supreme court is re asserting the same thing then in amir alana versus union of india supreme court observed that the personal laws while reflecting cultural and religious diversity should not contravene fundamental right guaranteed by the constitution this case underscored the need of personal law to be in harmony with the constitutional values means your right to equality that is article 14 should not come okay should not be violated why are practicing your 26 clause 2 okay that is personal laws so your personal laws should be in the harmony with the constitutional provision that is right to equality right to live with dignity yes or no okay this is amir alana case okay apart from that again supreme court we uh, we asserted something that is indian young lawyer association versus state of kerala this particular case is famously known as sabri mala judgment okay what was sabri mala judgment that is address the issue of discrimination and gender equality in the religious practices it reinforces the idea that personal law must align with the constitutional principle suggesting that ucc could be provide a framework for addressing such disparity what was sabri mala case anyone what was sabri mala case
साबरी माला वुमन ऑफ रिप्रोडक्टिव एज नॉट अलाउड एंट्री इन टू साबरी माला टेम्पल यस यस वेरी गुड ओके एंटरिंग टू टेम्पल यस 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 ओके इनफ यू गॉट द आइडिया सो अगेन सुप्रीम कोर्ट इन साबरी माला जजमेंट और इंडियन यंग लॉयर एसोसिएशन वर्सेज स्टेट ऑफ केवला जजमेंट सुप्रीम कोर्ट सेट दैट ओके पर्सनल लॉज आर डिस्क्रिमिनेटरी टूवर्ड्स द वुमन एंड यू शुड ब्रिंग यूसी ओके टू एंश्योर द इक्वालिटी ओके सो दीज आर द केसेस अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट देर इज वन मेजर इशूज देव वॉज वन मेजर इशू विच वॉज एडवेस्ट ओके नाउ वी विल डिस्कस समथिंग विच इज रिलेटेड टू राइट टू प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ हिंदू वुमन ओके राइट टू प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ हिंदू वुमन now my question is does hindu woman enjoy right to property especially the ancestral property ancestral property no despite of having hindu court bill okay to which we are saying that it is nothing but the uniform civil court for hindus many of the provision of hindu court bill basically uh, brought hindu court bill brought uniformity uniformity and progressiveness uniformity and progressiveness in hindu laws like it banned uh, polygamy okay it ensured uh, legal separation it ensured legal separation okay so it brought uniformity it brought progressiveness but earlier right to property was not enjoyed by okay hindu woman right to property was not enjoyed by hindu woman okay that was the case before 2005 why according to mitakshara school according to mitakshara school okay for ancestral property for ancestral property okay there are three generation who are considered as copper sanar one is your grandparent one is your father one is your grandfather not grandparents one is your grandfather then your father then you these three are considered as copper sanar copper sanar means okay protector protector or you can say inheritor of the ancestral property in fact your grandfather okay cannot dispose of that particular ancestral property without your permission and same thing is true with your father as well and same thing is true with your brother as well but in this copper senorship okay there is no woman there was no woman allowed no woman was allowed in this copper senorship means woman cannot inherit it woman cannot inherit the father's property or ancestral property especially that uh, land or we can say Um, ancestral home okay it can be inherited by only grandfather father or you and your son okay you got the idea you got the idea or not yes okay but that particular thing was changed that particular thing was changed by bringing the hindu succession amendment act 2005 write down hindu succession amendment act 
2005 hindu succession amendment act 2005 that is this act gave hindu woman right to be copper sanar this act gave hindu woman right to be a copper sanar right to be a copper sanar right to be a copper sanar copper sanar by birth right to be a copper sanar by birth who is copper sanar that is one who, one who share inherited property one who share one who share inherited property inherited property okay inherited property such as ancestral home and ancestral okay so suppose this is one hindu undivided family one hindu undivided family two this is your grandfather this is your father this is you okay similarly this is another family grandfather father you you along with your sister he along with her sister okay so from now onwards okay in hindu undivided family your sister will be a copper sanar with you suppose your sister is getting married with this guy and her sister is married with this guy okay but your sister okay after this marriage can not be a copper sanar in this particular family okay and this particular okay suppose this woman came here via marriage so your wife cannot be a copper sanar wife cannot be a copper sanar cannot be a copper sanar similarly your sister cannot be a copper sanar in this particular okay household she will be copper sanar in your property and this particular okay woman will be copper sanar in this property only okay samajh gaye kya baat ko is it clear sir is willingly husband transfer property then it will be allowed no it will not be allowed okay it will not be allowed okay husband can share or transfer his property okay which is earned by him only like i have my own house okay with my own earning then i can transfer that property to my wife okay but i can not transfer my ancestral property to my wife it is like this you got the you got idea or not yes okay so this much complicated okay personal laws are this much complicated so basically okay your sister is copper sanar in your ancestral property okay okay this particular woman is copper sanar in this ancestral property even after marriage okay your sister can claim your ancestral property okay and even after marriage this woman can claim this ancestral property but your wife cannot claim okay right to property in your okay ancestral land or in your ancestral house okay so this is this particular act is related to right to inheritance of hindu woman i hope it is clear there is no doubt in this okay the concept of copper sanar is clear that copper sanar means uh, the generations okay especially the male heirs are holding that ancestral property or ancestral land together and no single copper sanar can dispose 
of that property without the permission of other okay yes but after 2005 okay that girl child of this particular family also got a right of inheritance i hope it is clear okay it should be mandated sir that father has divided equally uh, now after this particular act okay it become it becomes mandatory for father to divide okay that property between son and his daughter okay now it became compulsory okay so this is also related to personal laws so i discussed this particular point with you okay the last why ucc was in the news we have discussed and uh, ucc was in the news because one more thing that uh, 22nd law commission write down 22nd law commission okay abhi chal raha hai 22nd law commission जस्टिस ऋतुराज अवस्थी हेडेड बाय जस्टिस ऋतुराज अवस्थी ट्वेंटी सेकेंड कमीशन हैज इशूड अ कंसल्टेशन पेपर ऑन यूसीसी हैड इशूड अ कंसल्टेशन पेपर ऑन यूसीसी कंसल्टेशन पेपर ऑन यूसीसी ऑन यूसीसी टू सीक पब्लिक फीडबैक to seek public feedback public feedback means okay public feedback okay so that different organization different religious groups can okay make their opinion into that consultation paper and after that okay law commission will prepare a draft for ucc okay at the same time our prime minister also at the same time our prime minister also emphasized the need of ucc the need of the ucc need of the ucc so because of these reason ucc one was in the news we have discussed the constitutional provisions related to ucc we have discussed all the okay acts all the constitutional judgments related to ucc okay i hope these two topics are clear and there will be no issue okay with this topic regarding prelims regarding mains yes or no so uh, one my first listen my question that is this format is okay is this format is okay or should we change our format uh, like we will be discussing more and more factual aspect rather than conceptual aspect this format is good okay that we will okay discuss two to three topic in detail okay two to three important topic okay like we did okay best possible this is the best possible way okay then no issues okay so uh, for next uh, current affairs class we will discuss first the role of governor in federalism and controversies regarding the position of governor first and second we will discuss something else okay jo bhi news mein hoga related to science and tech or related to any other okay segment we will discuss that thank you so much milte hain next saturday ko